Hey fellow garage golfers, Roland here with Garage Golf where we provide extraordinary golf info for the extra ordinary golfer. We're back at it with another video, really excited to bring this one to you. We got a really, really awesome launch monitor in the Unicore iMini. We're going to be doing a full unboxing review, testing everything out, telling you what comes with the iMini. I'm looking forward to bringing that to you guys. Stay tuned and check it out. All right, thanks again for watching and welcome back. Here at Garage Golf, we provide information on golf technology, golf launch monitors, golf simulators, and pretty much anything golf related. So if you're new to our channel, make sure you subscribe, click that bell notification so you're alerted of new videos that come out like the one you're watching here today. As always, make sure you guys join our Facebook group. That's where we communicate with other viewers of our channel. That's where you can communicate with us. And of course, if you have any questions or if you're looking to build a golf simulator of your own, I want to be your go-to person. Reach out to me directly, Roland at MyGarageGolf.com. I help, this is what I do now full-time, I help people build their own golf simulator based upon their unique budget, restrictions, space, everything, completely free of charge to you. I work as an affiliate, so basically any links I provide to you, we get compensated down the road, but at no extra cost to you, the person that we're helping. That's the most important part to me. So I love what I do. I love helping people with their golf simulator setups. I'm looking forward to helping you with your unique needs as well. All right, so back at it with the iMini. I'm looking forward to getting this thing unboxed. It's a pretty heavy box. We gotta see what comes in this box. Let's check it out. Let's get it unboxed. I'm gonna show you a little bit more about what comes with the Unicorn iMini when you purchase it. And if you're watching this video anytime between August 1st and August 31st, 2023, as of right now, when you purchase the iMini, they're also throwing in what they call the Champions Package. So I'm gonna share some more information about that with you as well. Make sure you check for our affiliate link in the video description if you're interested, or go directly to our website at www.mygaragegolf.com. Let's go ahead and get this unboxed. Before we get to the unboxing real quick, I just wanna take a quick moment to recognize our friends at the Indoor Golf Shop. The Indoor Golf Shop has been a great friend to us here at Garage Golf throughout these years. And when we had the option to open up our own business, we decided to partner with the Indoor Golf Shop for a lot of our products. And the reason for that is the quality that they provide with the products in general. So this video is not sponsored by the Indoor Golf Shop. I just wanna give them a quick shout out. And if you guys have any questions or you're looking for products, they're gonna be the first company that we recommend to you because we know that they offer is quality and that you're gonna be happy with the final product in the end, which is most important to us as well. Just remember that whenever you are ready to make your purchase, make sure you reach out to us first directly and we'll initiate the contact between you and the indoor golf shop whenever the time is right. All right, so let's go ahead and get this unboxed here and I already have it ready to roll. So I'm gonna go ahead and open up the box. And I will take out the contents of the box and bring you right back here. All right, so we took out what looks to be a really nice case or bag from the box. And I'm gonna slide everything over. And it's here in plastic, so let me take that out now. So the fact that you get this is actually really awesome quality. And here's the case. Really, really cool. And it stands up. And you see, there you see the actual, it's like a briefcase, basically. And it even comes with, looks to be like a shoulder strap as well. So that's really, really nice. Super, super high quality. I'm really impressed with the actual case that you get with it. Let's take this plastic off here. I'm gonna set it back down. And then, let me go ahead and unzip it and let's see what's in there. Open it up. We got a power cord here. What else comes in here? Here's the rest of the power cord. Pretty heavy duty power cord. Nothing there. And here we have a Cat5 cord. So this is gonna be very similar to the Unicore IXO, Unicore QED. I'm assuming it'll plug right into your uh, Cat5 port if you have a an existing hard wire. Um, the, I know the Unicore IXO and QED came with an adapter for that because you do have to plug this into the Ethernet port. Can't go into an adapter, so we'll double check and see if that came with this as well. Okay, now we have the main device. Let's slide this out here. Slide this out. 
and I will set this down here. There you see the actual iMini device. Really cool. And it came with a little box as well. And I think this is gonna be the shoulder strap. Really, really nice quality though. Overall, Unicor, I think they did a really fantastic job with this. So you see the shoulder strap here that comes with the actual case also. So what I did not see was an adapter in case you need to use uh, your ethernet port on your computer. So we're gonna check and see how that works. You may need to get your own adapter possibly with this, uh, but I will double check on that as well. All right, so one other thing that I missed that was in the case are actually the stickers. Now these are stickers for your clubs, not for the ball. This does not need stickers on the golf ball, but it actually does come with tweezers, which really help because I know before I was trying to use my big fat thumbs for it and it wouldn't work. <laughs> so tweezers will definitely help out in this situation. So no adapter. Uh, I'll double check on the adapter thing and see if you can plug this into an adapter. I'm assuming it has to continue like the rest of them to go into an ethernet port. Uh, and you'd have to get a, basically a USB to Cat5 adapter in which you would use to plug your hardwired internet. Now here I'm actually just Wi-Fi. I don't have hardwired internet in the Garage Golf Studio now, so it won't be an issue. I'm just gonna have to unplug my IXO or QED, depending upon which bay that we put this in, uh, in between uses, so that way it could actually register the iMini as well. All right, so what I'm gonna do now is I'm gonna go ahead and let this thing charge for a bit. We'll go ahead and get it plugged in. I'm assuming it's gonna to need to charge very similar to other launch monitors. And then when I come back to you guys, we'll get this thing started up. We'll get it installed on the actual computer. And then we'll see how everything looks, if there's any questions that we have or any issues that we face while we're setting it up. And then from there, we'll show you some gameplay. We'll show you it in use. And I see if we have any questions from there that we can answer for you guys at home. So now that we've completely unboxed the Unicor iMini, I wanna kinda of show you a couple of things. I charge it for about a couple hours just so we can make sure we have enough charge for the video. You can, however, use the iMini while actually being plugged into a wall outlet, just so you're aware as well. Uh, I did check on the adapter. There is no adapter that comes with it. You may be able to possibly use an adapter with the iMini. I'm not aware of that yet, but I'm just gonna plug mine directly into my ethernet port. Just know that if you ever need to, you can buy a USB to Cat5 adapter for your actual hardwired internet and use that. I've always done that and then just plugged in my Unicore devices directly into the ethernet port on the PC. So, shouldn't be an issue there at all. Um, I went ahead and kind of looked at it and started it up. There's this little rubber piece here that you see that kind of fits right down into here. And I basically pull that out and that's gonna expose the DC line in, the actual hardwire line, and, or for your power and then also the LAN. So what I'm gonna do now is I turned it on, and let's see if you can see this. When I turned it on, I get this message, which basically says connect to a network, and it has an actual QR code. So I'm gonna do that now, and I'm gonna go ahead and scan that QR code with my phone, and then we're gonna go ahead and connect the iMini to our network here at Garage Golf. All right, so now I'm on my phone. The first thing I'm gonna do is go to my QR reader. Should pull up my QR scanner, and I'm gonna scan that code right away and let's see what it opens for me. So now it wants me to sign in with my Unicor account, which I will do and I'll bring you right back here shortly. And now you see that I've successfully signed in. So now it wants me to go ahead and register my device here. And if you scroll all the way down to the bottom, you'll see register. So I'm gonna go ahead and click on register now. And it's gonna take me through the process, the process of automatically registering my Unicor iMini. And now it's been successfully registered. There you see the iMini listed on the very top as a list of devices. And I should be good to go now moving forward. All right, so even with the LAN or the Cat5 cord plugged in, I'm still seeing connect to a network. So what we wanna do now is we're gonna to go to our PC here, all right? And we're gonna go ahead and pull it up. And what we wanna do is actually go to the Unicore launcher on the PC. Okay, so now we're on the actual Unicore launcher and you're gonna see an install page. The iMini is gonna be included here on the install page. And we're gonna go ahead and click continue. And it says connect your device to this computer and the internet. So we're gonna do dynamic ethernet connection mode, which is required or recommended. And let's click continue. Okay, 
So now it says still connect to a network. As you can see here from my setup, the Ethernet cord runs from the back of my iMini directly into the back of my PC that you see there. I'm now going to take you back to the screen so you can see exactly what I see. All right, so here I'm on the install wizard again, right? And now right away, iMini pops up, gives me my address, gives me everything, and it says, unable to register, unable to start. Okay, so I clicked refresh right there again, and it automatically changed it to registered, because I did register it on the app that you saw. And now I'm gonna click select here. All right, and here you're gonna see basically any license keys that are associated with the iMini. I'll blur out the license key just so you don't see the whole thing or you won't see the whole thing there. And I'm gonna go ahead and click on activate now. This is what came with the package. Activation is complete for those three license keys. And now what I'm gonna do is go to continue. And what we need to do now is go ahead and test out the iMini to make sure that it's working. So I'm just gonna go ahead and click on an iron and we're gonna hit continue. And then it says you're all set. Click to download and install the Unicore software package on start menu. So I'm gonna click continue. There we go. So you're gonna see the launch monitor loading up now. And there you see the iMini in the upper left-hand corner along with the packages that I have. All right, now under settings, I'm gonna pick my Wi-Fi name and I will put in my password and I'll bring you right back here. And now I am connected to the Wi-Fi network here. So just for you guys watching at home, I don't have hardwired internet running to this computer, so I am on Wi-Fi. So you wanna go under settings, under launch monitor, once you set up the iMini, and that'll drop down your Wi-Fi connector, and then basically from there, you can put in your Wi-Fi information and connect to the internet. So now I can go ahead and close out that settings menu. All right, now to test out the iMini, we're gonna start off with the view software. So I'm gonna go ahead and click on start, and I'll bring you back here, and we can check out the iMini working with the view software. Okay, so right behind me, you're gonna actually see the Unicore View software, and that's gonna be something that you've probably seen several times before. I did use the actual uh, tweezers that came with it, and I put a club sticker. Um, I think it only requires one now, which is nice, right on the toe area of the iron. So I put that right here, Let's see if we can show you that. And there you see the actual sticker that I put on the club. That should give us club data, as well as Smash Factor and other features that it should now register along with that iMini. Now, several club stickers did come with the iMini. Uh, I will tell you that from other testing, they will actually stay on your club for quite a while. I've even used them on outdoor rounds of golf, come back and even clean my clubs. Before you use anything on your simulator, I always recommend you clean your clubs if you use them outdoors. Um, so none of that transfers to your screen, of course. Now, I've cleaned my clubs with things like Lysol wipes and other things and really got all the dirt out of there. And still, the stickers will last for quite a bit. So we'll see how long they last through testing. I'll keep you guys posted on that. Well, let's go ahead and get started. I got a seven iron. I'm gonna hit about four or five shots with a seven iron using the Unicore view, see what, we're, what it looks like and basically what kind of features we're seeing with the Unicore iMini on that view software. And just to give you an idea on placement, there's my golf ball. There's the iMini with where we stand with things there. And there you see the golf ball as far as how big of an area we have to kind of work with. So I could basically move my golf ball anywhere, say, right about there. That's still in the zone to right about there as well. So I'll give you an idea on how big of a space, probably about 12 inches or so, but I'll, I'll verify that and put some information down in regards to how big that hitting area is, but a pretty good size, which is good. One other thing you want to do before you take any shots is let's go to the iMini now. And let's click the align button just to see what that does. So it says select auto to calibrate using two balls. Select manual to manually calibrate alignment. So let's select auto and let's see what it does. So it says balls must be placed lining up towards a target. Place two golf balls eight inches to 20 inches apart. So let me get another golf ball. We'll go with this one. 
Let's try a little closer. There, kind of calibrated my target there. It says 1.1 degrees. I opened it a little bit. Now it says negative 0 0.5. So I auto calibrate it, should be good to go. Let's see how this does. I'm gonna take a shot here and see how we do. All right, so we're all set up. I'm gonna turn, I turned the lights down so it may be a little bit darker for you to see me, but I want you to be able to see the screen. And what I did was I split the screen in half so you can see the ball flight on the left-hand side of the screen. You'll see the actual club data on the upper right-hand side of the screen and all the numbers on the bottom right. So if you needed to stop or zoom in or see anything, I'm only gonna take about five shots with the seven irons, very much similar to the Unicor IXO or QEDs that I've done before. But I do want you to see the video, which I think is pretty cool. That's a really cool uh, difference between the iMini and some of the other products. So let's take about five shots with a seven iron to see how we do with the view software. And I also recording the screen so you can see on the bottom corner of the screen what I'm seeing on the actual iMini device as well. So I try to keep it as interactive as I can for you guys. So let's see if all this works out. Don't worry about my shots and uh, <laughs> we'll see how we do with those. But um, I wanna see what kind of data we're getting here. Okay, so good strike there. 92.9 Apex, check that video out on the bottom right where it follows the actual ball a little bit. I really like that view a lot. So 92.9, I carried it 146.7, 156.5 total with the seven iron. Uh, but let me play that video for you one more time so you can see that. So I'll zoom in on the screen too so you can see it. But pretty cool overall, see where you make contact and it kind of follows the ball a bit. So a little bit different than what we've seen before. And again, it's giving me club data because of the stickers and also photo of where I made contact with that ball. So pretty neat stuff. Let's continue on and see how we do. Hooked that one a little bit. 144 carry, 155 total. It's not giving me all the club data though, for some reason. I don't know why. Could be the sticker is not being read on this club face for some reason. Let's hit another one and see how we do. Better shot there. A little bit of a draw. Still says pull hook. 76.8 total apex, 144 carry. But again, nothing with the, with the club. So we'll work on that and seeing why we're not getting club data. Um, also, if you look at the screen now, so you see carry distance 144, total speed 103.2, obviously. That's ball speed, I believe. You got backspin of 46.23, side spin of 763 left, side angle 4.1 degrees left, launch angle 20.5 degrees, smash factor 1.33. Club speed 77.9, club path 1.6 degrees left, and attack angle 2.2 degrees. So it's giving us all the data. It's giving us all the club data. It's giving us everything that we need, including smash factor. So it is basically giving us everything. Uh, so we're not seeing vertical or horizontal impact or lie angle or dynamic loft or face angle. So we'll see. Uh, I'll double check and come back to you and see if that's something that we should be getting with the iMini or not. Let's take two more shots. Oh, watch me hit the ground on that one. That was horrible. Let's see if it shows it. Yep, ground, boom. 127 carry, 139.9 total, 29.7 yards to the left, 68.5 club speed, obviously because I hit the ground. That's not good, 92.3 ball speed. So again, no vertical horizontal impact, no lie angle, no dynamic loft, and no face angle. I'm gonna go ahead and check the website and come back to you and let you know what we should be getting measurements on. So now I'm on the Unicor iMini page on the Unicor's website. Here's what we're gonna be getting with the actual Unicor iMini. We're gonna get ball speed, side and backspin, side angle, side distance, launch angle, carry distance, descent angle, apex, Distance to apex, flight time, and run. And as you see here, the ones with the asterisks, you're gonna get that on view for the PC or view error for the iPad, not on the actual device itself. 
For club data, if you're using the stickers, you're going to get club speed, attack angle, smash factor, and club path. So we're not going to see dynamic loft, we're not going to see vertical or horizontal impact or lie angle, and we're not going to see face angle with the iMini. Now they're up on the screen because they run with the View software, um, and because I also have the Unicore IXO that does read some of this stuff. So just to kind of give you an idea, now I still like the multi-screen view that I have up on there just because I feel like it gives me a lot of cool data. Um, but you could always kind of customize that to whatever you want to have on there, which is really cool. I like that also. So this is what you're going to be seeing with the Unicore iMini as far as the total number of categories that do get registered. We got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14 total uh, that are going to be measured or calculated here with the Unicore iMini. All right, so obviously not as many things are going to be measured or calculated as my Unicore IXO, but we're talking about something that costs 11000 versus the iMini, which costs 4500 right? So we're going to obviously lose some there. Now, I still feel there's plenty of data points, especially for an everyday average golfer like myself, an 18 handicap. I'm just lucky if I hit the ball straight, to be honest. So I'm liking what I'm seeing with the data. I'm liking what I'm able to do with the view software. Let's hit another shot and see if we can end up on a strong shot with the view software. Let me know if you have any questions on anything that you're seeing as well. Really good strike there. 151 total carry, 161 total distance, 247 side spin to the left, 24 degree launch angle, 100 apex. So it shows you your apex, shows you your total distance. Overall, Really, really impressed. Again, the only thing that it does not is give you club face, angle, face to path, dynamic loft, impact position, X and Y, and then club lie. So other than that, it's giving you everything that you need and I'm really impressed with it so far. So let's go over the final numbers on view and then we'll see it with some actual gameplay hopefully as well. All right, so let's look at those numbers with the iMini here. And again, I think, um, if I'm kind of giving some suggestions, I think that Unicorn needs to update the view software a bit. The only thing I don't like is that I can't come in here at any point and switch what club I'm using like I can with the SkyTrack app and then just have it automatically register. Okay, I hit seven, seven iron shots. I hit seven, five iron shots. What I have to do is I have to go back in and create a whole new session for those shots. So it's kind of outdated in my book. I think that needs to be updated a bit. That's really the only gripe I have with view because I think it's actually overall pretty good. Um, I'd like to see maybe some mini games included in view without having to get the refined software too, and maybe some work on putting. Um, but that's really the biggest gripe that I have is more than anything, I think that you need to be able to adjust between whatever clubs you're using without having to do a whole new session. So if you look at my numbers, total average 143 carry, that's including that uh, 127 here that I hit, uh, 153.5 total distance. Um, we're gonna look at pretty much everything here as far as backspin. So it gives you averages of everything, which is nice. I and mean, if you've seen any of my videos before, you've seen this. Highest apex was the last shot by far that I hit at 100. If you go to group, here's all the shots that I hit. Anything that was really, really horrible, I just took out. But basically these are decent shots that I hit for the most part. Um, it didn't, again, it'll show you club data. There's the video. So if you wanna see it in a little bit higher quality, not on the screen, I really like that a lot. I think that's pretty cool. You see it, it kind of follows that. I think it's kind of cool how that does that, so for sure. And then you see the photo view of it as well as the illustration view of it. So I do like that also. That's pretty cool. Um, so yeah, everything's pretty neat. You, you can still use the Unicore um, cameras with it. You can still use webcams with it. So that, that's something that you could also add as well. Uh, but overall, really impressed. I mean, typical view software as far as what we've seen before, nothing, nothing too crazy. But uh, pretty happy with it. I'm pretty happy with everything. I've read all the shots. And uh, overall, I've been pretty impressed with the iMini as far as initial testing on the view software. All right, so that's it for the view software and the Unicore iMini. Let me know your thoughts on the integration there. Let me know if you think as well what I think in regards to the view software. If you've used it before, I'd love to know your thoughts, your opinions, uh, any feedback that we could provide to the people at Unicore. Um, but overall, with the actual Unicore iMini launch monitor itself, very, very impressed. Large hitting area, registered every single shot that I hit that registered as being in that hitting area. 
Um, the data that you actually get on the launch monitor itself, super bright screen, uh, as you can see from the recording on my phone, you get a lot of data on that screen also. So really cool. Um, I'd like to get some instructions. Like I know the, the days of instructions have come and gone and I'm still kind of old school with that. So I had to go online to kind of figure out all the steps to take that I walked you guys through to set it up. It took me longer than I think it should. Uh, I'd like to see just a little cheat sheet that comes with it. Like, hey, this is the steps you take, nice and easy. Uh, and Unicore did a really good job of updating, you know, how you connect the IXO and the QED, um, you know, online. Really, really easy to now calibrate and go through all that stuff that took me like a 40 minute video to show everybody in the past. So I think they need to do something a little bit easier with iMini personally. Um, it wasn't the hardest thing to set up, but you know, I did have to kind of even look online to see, okay. And I did find a manual online, but you know, for what you pay for the device, you should probably get a manual, I think, in the actual box or at least a cheat sheet. So just uh, my two cents. Uh, let me know your thoughts as well. But um, let's see if we can now jump into a little bit of gameplay and use the view with it. I'll play, probably play a couple holes, maybe one or two holes, see how the, the, um, the actual iMini does with any kind of gameplay that we have. And I do have a couple options possibly, so let's see what we can make work here. And I'd love to show you the iMini in regards to some gameplay, some actual simulator gameplay that we can use it with. Let's see what we can do. So next up, as we stated, we're gonna be showing some simulation play using the Unicore iMini. And I already have set up behind me GS Pro, which is one of the actual products that will work with the Unicore iMini. So all you have to do to set up integration with a program such as GS Pro is you wanna start the Vue software first and then go into GS Pro and start their software. And as long as Vue is started and you've already created a session for yourself and it says ready on Vue software, then it's gonna integrate using the GS Pro software as well. So all we're gonna do right now is play two quick holes for you, show you some gameplay. Let's see how it interacts with a program like GS Pro. E6 would be very similar as well. And show you at home a little bit more about how that works, how everything's gonna look and what you could expect if you were to use this with simulation play as well. So what you see behind me is actually one that I've been looking forward to playing for a while. It's actually one that came out recently. It's the Wynn Golf Course in Las Vegas. And for those of you who don't know about GS Pro, you're definitely missing out, you gotta check it out. GS Pro is one of my favorite simulation programs out there. Lots of really, really good courses. So, um, so we're gonna be playing two holes. Again, whatever they are, first hole is a par, Four, I believe, yep, 400 yards. So we'll be using the driver. So we haven't tried driver yet. I'm gonna try that with the tee. I use the bird tees. You wanna probably stay away from anything white, I'm assuming, um, in regards to using any kind of tee. But other than that, you should be okay. So we'll see how it does with a shot. Not really necessarily where my shot goes, but it makes sure it reads my driver shot. And uh, let's go ahead and see how that does now and hit the first shot. Okay, read it right away. Pulled it a little bit to the left, but it's gonna be in the fairway. So I'm happy with that. Total carry, 213. Total distance, about 240. Pretty happy with it, read it right away. Pretty excited with that. Let's go ahead and take our next shot. It's gonna be 168 yards. So that was my first shot with the driver. We're all really impressed. It read it right away, no delay, no issues. Um, no issues with the tee at all. So we got 168, I'll be using a five iron for this shot. Okay, good shot there. Gonna be on the left though. And a little long. Little long. All right, I'm in the rough. 22 yards now away. All right, so so far we know it reads good shots. It reads bad shots. Pretty much reads all shots. So that's always a good thing. I'm in the rough here. Rough on GS Pro is a little bit tough to kind of figure out and decipher. So I got a 54 degree. Let's see how we do here. By the way, check out the new dome that they even have in GS Pro that they just built there in Las Vegas. Really, really cool stuff. Way too hard. At least I'm putting now. All right, so putting in GS Pro, you can drag the ball and you see this break line indicator. So you're gonna see it's gonna break to my right. I'm gonna aim about right there or so and we'll take our putt. All right, so the reason why I show you simulation play is because we're now getting shots that we've never tested yet using the Unicore iMini. So one of those shots was the driver, the other is the putter. So let's see how the putter does. I already set up for my putt here on GS Pro. I'm gonna go ahead and take a shot and let's see how we do with the putter here. It's in range. So I have a putt that's 22 feet away, but GS Pro's very, very fast. So let's see how we do with the putt. 
read it right away. Pretty accurate there. So what I get on the device itself is I have miles per hour and side angle 1.7 degrees to the right and 6.3 for my ball speed. So that's all it's gonna show me on the device. But you did see it read it right away. We got a bogey on that hole and we're gonna play one more par three for you now. But overall, pretty cool stuff. I liked it a lot. Um, read the putter right away, so that was impressive too. So everything's going great so far with the Unicor iMini. Let me know if you have any questions on it though. And before we move on to the second hole, I wanna show you the video of what it looks like when you're putting, because I think that's actually one of the coolest features in general and in total with the actual iMini. I'll zoom in kind of to give you a better idea, but you can actually see where you made contact with the putter, how the ball rolled, what your line looked like, you know, if the ball was skipping or not. Overall, though, just one of the coolest features of the iMini, I feel, is the zoomed in close up view of where you're making contact with a golf ball, whether it be the club or the putter. On this shot, I got 188. So for shots like this, I do use the bird tee, which you'll see there. It's just a little plastic tee that I put down. So we'll make sure that the Unicorn iMini reads that also. And it's ready there, so we're good to go. 188, we've got five feet, six inches uphill. All I have is a five iron, so we're gonna try to get it as far as we can down there. Send it really bad. Gonna be short of that bunker. Horrible shot. Again, it reads all kinds of shots, good or bad, so it's not gonna let you off the hook with the iMini for sure. All right, we got another chip shot up onto the green, 32 yards away. All right, so now we're gonna try a 58 degree. Let's see what kind of results we get with that. Make sure that it's gonna read that kind of shot as well. 32 yards away again. And up and over, way too hard. All right, so this is starting to resemble my real golf game a lot here. So little tiny little bump here, hopefully, and try to get it onto the green and hopefully get it inside the gimme circle. Let's see how it reads a soft little shot like this. Really, really good. Wow, it's pretty accurate from where I hit it to where it landed and how quickly it did. So two holes, two bogeys. All right, so a couple things. Number one, I'm blown away with the wind course that they created for GS Pro. The little globe even changes images in the background. It had a football thing on there and now it has a GS Pro logo. So again, if you guys haven't um, been awoken to GS Pro yet, which I think there's probably fewer and fewer people now, make sure you check it out. Really, really cool simulator program. In regards to the iMini, nothing but positive things to say about it. Again, a little cumbersome at the beginning with the startup and getting it kind of up and running. I uh, would like a little bit more clearer steps as to what to take to do that. But now that I have it connected and I have it basically on my Unicore launcher, it worked right away with GS Pro. I'm assuming you do the exact same thing with E6 Connect. And I'm gonna to continue to create content for all of these devices. So I'm gonna to try to show you some content down the road with E6 Connect as well. Uh, if there's anything that you guys wanna see that I've missed so far, please let me know. And then later on, I'm also gonna be kind of competing these head to head as best as I can, right? So I can't have my iXO and my um, iMini plugged in at the same time because it requires that ethernet cord. But what I might be able to kind of finagle or work around would be something like um, setting that up on two different computers possibly. And I have kind of some of the tools to do that. I just need to kind of manipulate some things, but then we can kind of get a better idea on what we're looking at between say two devices like that, or even comparing say the iMini to something like either the Bushnell Launch Pro or what I'm probably gonna do my next video on is the full swing kit. So that's the next thing I'm looking to kind of tackle here. I'm really, really interested in seeing that one as well. So let me know what you guys would like to see. I, I have almost everything here um, other than say TrackMan, um, GC Hawk. There's a couple that I don't have, but I have a lot of the, you know, the ones that we would have access to on a regular basis. Uh, and some, most of the ones that people would want to put in their home sims and that kind of deal. So I can test almost anything for you. And that's, that's what I'm looking forward to doing. So we're going to continue to have that content here, continue to help, you know, basically provide you with the information that's needed to help make this purchase. And again, remember, when you're ready, just call me. You got my number, you'll have it on our website, uh, www.mygarage.com. Um, or you can actually go there and create a Calendly invite so we can actually do a Zoom or Google Meet with each other. I help everybody completely free of charge. So that's what I'm looking forward to doing with you guys, You know, helping you free of charge, help you line up the products with multiple vendors that we have options with, 
completely free of charge to you, but we still get compensated for helping you. So it's an awesome, awesome setup. I'm basically living my dream now, which is you know, something I'm really passionate about, and I hope to be able to continue to do this long into the future. So also we have a commercial facility now here in South Florida. So if you're in the area or willing to take a flight or a drive here, I'm willing to meet with you here and show you around and let you test those things out directly. Because it's one thing for me to show you on video, it's a whole nother thing for you to get your hands on that product before you purchase it, right? That's a really big thing. And that's part of what I wanted to do here. So we have those tools now. Hopefully down the road, I'll have multiple locations for people to do that. So that's what we're looking to do. Let me know your thoughts on the iMini. I was super impressed with it. I'm looking forward to continuing to use it. Uh, really, really good alternative for someone who doesn't either have the space for a ceiling mounted option. I think Unicor did a great job with coming out with their own launch monitor that is floor based. Uh, I do like that. Um, again, right and left handed, you would have to switch it around a little bit, so that's one thing. But again, very accurate, read every shot that I hit. Um, no questions asked, you know, good shots and as you saw a lot on the video, bad shots too. So let me know if there's anything else with the iMini you wanna see. We're gonna continue to pump out content as always. Um, and again, you know, until the next time we see you guys, keep on golfing. I'll catch you on the next one. Thanks again.